The Lion Guard Drama King, Episode 2, The Assembled in the Assembly. This story is a fan fiction story. It is not associated or affiliated with the original Disney story or Disney under any circumstances. Sequence 1. The episode opens with a scene of a cub named Wazimu being born into a family of vengeance living in the Darklands. Despite his playful demeanor, he is controlled by his father, Mwango, who is the leader of the Darklands at the time. Mwango tells the story of how they were not living the best life in the Pride Lands and how they were furious and wanted revenge. They attempted to attack Simba and Nala but were caught and subsequently banished from the Pride Lands. They traveled a long time to find a new home and finally found the Darklands, a place full of life where a small community of outsiders can go and make it their own home. As more outsiders came in, sharing similar experiences, Mwango held a grudge and still does. So he told Wazimu about Simba's son, Kion, and how he can one day defeat Kion. Because he, too, has the same power as Kion, the power of the roar. But this power could be used for evil. Wazimu becomes enraged, knowing what Simba did to their family and is intrigued to learn more. Sequence 2 The next day, Mwango tries to get Wazimu to train the roar to get stronger, but nothing happens. Mwango becomes furious and starts to think he was wrong about his son. However, Wazimu senses his father's frustration and starts to roar moving rocks around, creating a circle of rocks around them both. And Mwango is amazed, but members of the Darklands start seeing what Wazimu can do and become furious. They start planning chaos and plan to kill Wazimu and his father out of fear when they all get older and strike them as they think the war will weaken. Sequence 3 as Wazimu becomes an adolescent, his roar becomes stronger than ever. He can now move objects, create storms, and start earthquakes with his powerful roar. However, things take a turn for the worst as the community turns on Wazimu and his father. Wazimu tries to stop it, but is too late. His father is mortally injured. Enraged, Wazimu kills the community with this roar, and his father tells him his final words. To kill Kion and Simba's family. The rage grows on from there. He starts practicing the roar more, learning new tricks as he goes. Sequence 4 Suddenly, a group of animals land in the Darklands from a tornado. They are a group of animals that have tried to use Kion to get into the Tree of Life. The animals introduce themselves as Makucha, Mama Bentrong, Ora, and his Komodo dragon army, Chulun, Smun, and his porcupine army, Fahari and Jehona. They tell Wazimu what Kion did to them and how they should lay low and give up. But Wazimu tells them not to give up, as he too has the power of the war, and he can use it for evil. Confused, the animals watch as Wazimu roars exactly like Kion, but stronger. A glimmer of hope shines on the animals. Wazimu becomes the new leader of the army and makes a plan to destroy Kion when he becomes mature. Wazimu tells the animals that the training starts now. The End Episode 3, The Return of the Guard, will release this Wednesday.